All right, let's talk about the weather now. And if you look closely, you can see snow falling. You can. Uh, we've been zooming in on the lights because that's your best bet at mm -hmm. watching the snow actually fall. But it is definitely falling and has been falling here in Kalama. It's 25 degrees. And if you look closely at the parking lot, you can actually see that there's a dusting of snow already covering the pavement. So this is coming down pretty consistently here, pretty steadily. And we'll continue to all the way through tomorrow morning. It's 26 right now in Ridgefield, and you can see the snow falling there. Also, right under the light, you can capture those snowflakes. So, yeah, plenty of cold out there to capture the snowflakes, keep them on the ground, and make driving a little bit challenging for you going into your morning commute. So, let's talk about tomorrow morning. What's in store for us? <clears throat> let's first talk about what is most likely. And what are some things that we're a little bit uncertain about that we'll have to watch closely hour by hour as we get into tomorrow? So starting with the category of more likely mountain passes, accumulating snow. Yeah, you can count on that. We might be seeing close to about six inches of snow for our mountain passes just for tomorrow alone. Now, more snow north of Portland. Yeah, if you're looking for accumulations that are more than just an inch, your best bet is really to be anywhere north of Portland, northeast of Portland, northwest of Portland, and into the hills. Areas south of Portland, though, your time to see any snow is going to be very limited. Now, tough driving through the gorge, yes, because in the gorge, we may be accumulating anywhere from two to as much as five inches of snow throughout the day tomorrow. So there are winter weather advisories in place due to those conditions. Now, a few things that are still uncertain is the transition that we're going to go through tomorrow morning. And that is going to be from nice and cold where we are right now in the mid to upper 20s over to temperatures that are going to be above freezing. So that's going to take us out of the snow zone and over to rain. What happens in between? Will, will, it, will it be a smooth transition or will it be something that involves some freezing rain? And I imagine there will be some pockets, some areas where you're still freezing but there is that warm layer coming in aloft that's going to create that condition for freezing rain. So something to watch for tomorrow morning. So the timing of that, it could be as early as 7 o'clock in the morning or as late as about 9 o'clock in the morning. And then pretty much turning to all rain by the time we roll into the middle of the day. Exact snow totals for Portland. We go through this every winter, of course. You know, it's all terrain driven. We could see a variety. It could be, again, as little as an inch, and we know that can obviously cause some problems for the morning commute, or it could be as much as two, maybe two and a half inches. What are we seeing right now on radar? I was showing you on camera where we're seeing the snow right around Kalama and all the way south as far as Ridgefield, and that's about where the line stops right now. So Portland still in the clear for the moment, but that will be changing likely within the next half hour. Current conditions here in Portland, 29. Wind is out of the southeast at 6 miles per hour. We'll be in the mid-30s by about 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow. So looking again at that timing, this is about 3 o'clock in the morning. Snow continues to advance to the south. At the same time, though, that wind is coming up from the south, and that's creating those warmer conditions, bringing us out of that snow category and into the rain category. This is 6.30 in the morning. See that area highlighted in pink? That could be that transition where you might run into some freezing rain during that time period. Throughout the day tomorrow, we expect mostly rainy conditions, but it will still be snowing in the gorge and out towards eastern Oregon. So bigger impacts out that direction, and we might turn right back to seeing more snow by tomorrow night. So here's your seven-day forecast. For all of you uh, going out for New Year's Eve, if it involves anything outside, even a quick walk down to your favorite restaurant, uh, temperatures are going to be in the upper 20s again, but at least it should be dry by Friday night. And hey, look at next year. Next year, we're going to be closer to normal in the 40s with some rain. Yeah, 40s and rain, that's what we're used to. All right.